Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm sharing how I made the relax sign and the heart signs that I have on my porch. Um, I measured out 38 by 18 for a board and I'm painting it white now with this chalk paint by Rustoleum. And I got these letters from Walmart. I'm just tracing them because I just need the stencil. I'm not using the actual letters. Um, Walmart didn't have an R, so I had to purchase a P, and then I used the extension of the X to make the line for the R. And I'm just showing how I did that. And then I gathered together all the remaining letters and I traced those out and then I aligned them in the way that I wanted them to look on the board. Next step is to cut as close to the line as possible without cutting on the line. So this will give you the layout for where you're gonna put your nails um, because that's where you'll, that's the guide for the string. So here I'm just laying everything out. I did measure how far apart the letters were from each other and from the border because I wanted it to be pretty perfect as much as possible. And then I taped the letters down and then made the markings for where I wanted the nails to go. I didn't actually use every single dot because once I started putting the nails in the spaces, some of the spaces were pretty close. So this is me measuring the distance between each one and this is how it looked when it was all complete. So I'm just going forward, putting these nails in. And I got them the nails from Home Depot. And this is how it looked when all the nails were in. It didn't take too long. Now I'm just showing how I did the string. Um, I already did the R as you can see, so I'm just showing how I did the E. I first started by tying a knot around one of the nails and then as you can see I'm going to guide that through and outline the, the letter E but on the inside of all the nails. I just sped the process up just a little bit so you can get the idea of how it's done but um, I do show how I do this whole letter so if you want to skip through this that's fine but it just shows how how I went about doing this and I did the same steps for each letter And here I'm just showing how I did the outside border of each letter. I took a very long piece of string and doubled it, tied it around one corner, and then I just go around the outside rim to make sure there's a nice thick outline for each of the letters. And um, I have to go around some of the nails a few times because if the string was a little bit too far away, um, that just held it a little bit tighter. And then came to the end and just tied a knot and cut that off. And 
this is the end result and of course did the same thing for each of the other letters and this is what it will look like at the end and then I got these um, I think these are trim yeah trim that I purchased at Home Depot um, and I'm using that as the frame so I'm just measuring where I want the frame to be and then I'm cutting the ends off I just used a saw and then I use some stain on this and I'm just gluing that down after the stain dried I ended up not liking the brown I actually preferred it just with nothing but um, I'm gonna show what I do next I ended up sanding it off So here's the back of the board. Everything is glued on, but to reinforce these pieces to not come off since I only used hot glue. Here and two on the bottom, two on the top, and then so far one on each side. I'm gonna add one, one of these to each side over here and here, and I'm not gonna push them all the way through. And this is gonna be what the rope is gonna hang on to hang this on the wall okay so I was not feeling that brown I did not like it I had to sand that brown off um this is it I like it much better like this here it is so I think it looks much better like this than the brown and the heart signs I got these from Marshall's they're meant to be regular picture frames but I took the glass out and I traced it out on a piece of wood that I already had and I did this two times because I did have two of those um, the wood was really thin so I got the shape put that into the frame and then this is what I ended up with so I went around and measured where I wanted those nails to go because I did want them again to be about the same distance apart when I nailed those in um, it was just the same exact shape as the heart I'm just showing here how I did one half of it And this is how it looks so far. I just went around and did the other side and then I do repeat the steps on this one but I don't film all of that. Um, I think you kind of get the idea. So I did the same steps that I did for the letters for each of the hearts and this is the end result of the sign. Just a little close up of everything. And again, this is sanded down. The border was the brown stain with it sanded off. And I think it came out pretty good. And this is the heart sign once it's all done. So thank you so much for watching. And thanks for subscribing. Thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next one.